Fox Soul Baby. In the words of Dineva, you don't fuck up the thing. This is Dee. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. Well, guys, I'm back, back, back. Firstly, to wish you a very happy new year. I cannot believe this is the year 2024. And my boy, Funky Dineva, has started it off with a boom. It was announced today. Well, he announced today that he is leaving TGIF um, on Fox Soul. This, like, I mean, I was shook when I watched his video, like a lot of people are, were. And although it makes me a little sad, it also, um, for the first day of the year, it's also a very good message to receive about self worth and uh, respecting yourself and knowing your worth and expecting others to know your worth and not playing the game if they don't. So I'm just going to get right into it, you guys. This will be a brief video. Um, they are going into now what unbelievably will be the fourth season of TGIF. Fox Soul Baby, in the words of Dineva, you don't fuck up the thing by getting rid of him because he is for me and a lot of people the primary reason I watch it obviously he has his own following which in his video he made clear that basically I don't I don't need this check I mean I can make what you pay me in a day or two in a couple of videos I don't have to show up every day the fact that I'm leaving does not impact me financially bottom line and you know Daniva is a rich white woman we all know that but ultimately, the way he explained things, I mean, he was 100% correct. The analogy of when he started working there, they were making, say, for example, $20 uh, per day. They increased their uh, workload, their um, program, their show to five days per week. So instead of paying them the $20 per day that they had been paying them, they took, they dropped it $20 to $17 for five days. So instead of being paid $20 per day for two days, they are now be paid, they were paid $17 per day for five days, which made absolutely no sense. And none of the cast members were happy about it. He sucked it up for six months and, you know, he said, I'll, I'll stick around for six months, see what happens. Al and Claudia, apparently they signed their contract for a year, six months went by. Um, they were in final stages of negotiations. They didn't, they said there was no more money in the budget. And he said, bye. Because think about the show, you guys. What would that show be without Dineva? What would that show be without What the Florida? And not me, girl. I mean, there are entire segments that are centered around him and his persona. He was asking for the same salary, the same rate of pay that he had once they started. That's wild to me that they are willing to let this man go, willing to risk him walking away because they're not going to do right by him and give him what he should have had in the first place. Um, but this is a lesson, you guys. This is a lesson how it's important to have your own and that no one is going to take care of you better than you. And that in this world, and you know, I have a job, I have a nine to five, uh, like most of you do as well. You are a commodity. Don't think for one moment that um, you cannot be laid off or let go if it benefits them or that they will necessarily do right by you. Like in this instance, it's a shame because I, I can guarantee you the uh, viewership will decline. I literally watch the show pretty much every day. I just can't see myself doing it just for Al and Claudia and whomever they replace him with. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. I'm not going to write it off completely because I have grown to like Al a lot. For me, he's like the moral center, the sort of moral compass of the show. And Claudia, I just like Claudia because she is, I mean, she's fantastic at what she does. He has his own support. Um, he has his own fan base. 
and he is successful in his own right. And he made a very valid point that we should all take note of. Imagine if the hours we spent working nine to five for someone else, if we invested and put those same hours into working for ourselves, what we could accomplish. Now, this story, it makes me a little bit sad, but I'm happy for him because he did the right thing. Um, if, in fact, the situation was the way he described it, and there's absolutely no reason to believe anything other than that. But this is a, let this be a lesson, you guys, in all relationships. You get what you accept. If you accept lesser treatment, that is exactly what you will get. You have to have boundaries. This is his boundary. He had thought he, he was more valuable to them than that. But, you know, it's just sometimes you get your feelings hurt. But ultimately, this is going to hurt them more than um, it hurts him. I wish uh, Dineva all the best. You know, I will be watching his videos. I watch each and every one. I love him. And um, I wish Al and Claudia all the best. I wish them all the best of luck because they are going to need it. So you guys, what do you think about um, these developments? Please let me know in the comments. Let me know. And please a thumbs up this video and feel free to share it as well. So till next time, happy new year and mwah. bye.